Sunday desecration in the Catholic Church. Layman picks up host from the ground with his tongue. Dear brothers and sisters of the work of God, it is regrettable to have to make known the enormous profanation and sacrilege that is being committed in the Catholic Church during all the masses where communion is received in the hand. I want to tell you about a serious incident that happened in my parish a few days ago. As in most of the parishes in the world, so also in my parish, the Holy Eucharist is being given in the hand. Few priests today give the Eucharist in the mouth and allow the faithful to kneel down. I cannot receive the Lord in the hand. And about this, I made a video in which I give testimony of how the Lord showed me the wound of His hand in my hand, and how from that moment on, I always received the Lord kneeling and in the mouth. In agreement with the priests, I asked them beforehand to allow me to receive the Lord in the mouth and on my knees. The great majority allow it, but some do not, and that is why I have not received the Lord in several masses. It happened on a Sunday, the Lord's Day. As usual, I knelt to receive the Holy Eucharist. There was nothing new. The priest gave it to me in my mouth. When I was getting up, the priest gave communion to a lady who was in the row next to me. This lady, an old lady, so sick that she could not even sit down during the Mass tried to receive communion in her hands, but she trembled and dropped the host. Immediately, I, who was still rising, knelt down and picked up the sacred host from the floor, the real presence, Christ himself, with my tongue. It so happens that no human being on earth with the exception of the priest, has sufficient dignity to touch the Lord with his hands. For this is a profanation that will receive its appropriate punishment when our particular judgment comes. This incident occurred before the eyes of the priest, as if it were nothing important. A few days later, I spoke with the priest and told him that a lady during Mass had not been able to receive the host in her hand because of her realness, and that the host had fallen to the floor. He replied, Ah, yes. But a lady who was next to me picked it up, to which I told him that it was not so, that I myself had knelt down again to pick it up, and that I had picked it up with my tongue. He said, hmm, I didn't realize that. I said, do you not recognize that it was the Lord in his body, blood, soul, and divinity that fell to the ground? And I said to him, in the same way, how many times does the Lord fall to the ground during the reception of the Holy Eucharist in the hand? And how many times does it reach satanic hands that steal the hosts to profane Christ in his real presence? And how many particles of those hosts are left on the floor? Many people put that host in their mouth over the mask and release particles that are the body of Christ. Subsequently, how many profanations and sacrileges are committed when many people trample on the body of Christ? The response of the priest was to defend the administration of the body of Christ in the hand, telling me to see how the people of the church 
were so pious, and that there are, are many tongues that profane the Lord more than hands. He quoted to me several people in the hierarchy of the Church who approve of the reception of the Holy Eucharist in the hand and didn't give much importance to the matter. I told him how Catalina Rivas, a stigmatized visionary from Bolivia, received the message from the Lord in which he offers many promises to those who receive him in the mouth and not in the hand. By the way, I leave a link at the end of this video. I also told him that Holy Padre Pio, as well as any of the saints, never gave communion in the hand, nor received it in the hand, because this offends God gravely. He did not give much thought to our conversation. And sadly, in my parish, priests still instruct the laity to receive the Lord in the hands. The magisterium of the Church has taught us reverence for the body of Christ. We must always receive it in the mouth and kneeling. It is an ecclesiastical right that is being taken away from us with the excuse of the pandemic and false obedience to modern men and not to God. Excommunicate anyone who dares to receive Holy Communion in the hand. Council of Zaragoza, year 380. The Synod of Toledo confirms this sentence. We condemn communion in the hand in order to put a limit to the abuses that occur because of this practice and as a safeguard against our privileges. Synod of Rouen, year 650. Let believers be forbidden to take the sacred host in their hands, excommunicating transgressors. The Sixth Ecumenical Council in Constantinople, 680 to 681. The fact that only the priest gives Holy Communion with his consecrated hands is an apostolic tradition. Council of Trent, 1545-1565. Dear brothers and sisters, what is really happening in the Church? The Holy Scriptures are being realized in these end times. We are told of the apostasy that will reign during the time of the Antichrist which is already here. Please discern, brethren. The rite of the Holy Mass has become a serious offense to the Lord, not only because it is being received in the hand and standing, but also because many priests are wearing masks and gloves on the altar. In other words, they do not believe that Christ descends to their hands. They allow noisy music to steal the moments of worship to the Lord. In many parts, they join the sacred rite with pagan rites such as the Pachamama. They give more reverence to the corpse of a dead person they come to bury than to the renewal of Christ's sacrifice on the cross that takes place during the Holy Mass. The priests stimulate the people with the loud music they allow, so that they forget about the God they are receiving and are distracted by the noise. Where is the faith of the priests and bishops? Where is the faith of the laity? No more piety. And how happy the devil is to see how we forget the most sacred moments of our religion and trample on the body of Christ. Dear brother or sister, if you want to have a clear conscience, if you seek holiness, never receive the Lord in your hand. If you do so, suspend that practice. Talk to the priest 
perhaps he will allow you to receive him in your mouth. Or better yet, instead of desecrating the body of Christ, do not receive it. Make a spiritual communion and tell the priest that a great profanation is being committed. Do not let your faith be stolen. Only you will stand before God on the day of judgment. No human being will be able to defend you. Not even you yourself will be able to defend yourself before the truth. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comment. Let's not offend the Lord anymore, please. Only communion in the mouth. God bless you.